let me leave you with a couple final thoughts about how you might become more of a multiplier. One thought and three questions to leave you with. The thought is this. I stumbled upon this. This is from my very favorite management philosopher, Bono. And he was describing the essence of George Clooney and what made George Clooney so brilliant. He said, it's been said that after meeting with the great British Prime Minister, William Ewart Gladstone, you left feeling he was the smartest person in the world. But after meeting with his rival, Benjamin Disraeli, you left thinking you were the smartest person. This, to me, captures the essence of what it means to be a multiplier, which is my first question I would leave you with. Which kind of leader do you want to be? Do you want to be the genius? Or do you want to be a genius maker, a multiplier who creates and amplifies brilliance all around you? Do you want an army of multipliers and brilliant people in your company? The second question is simply what is possible? If you were to lead more like a multiplier, what becomes possible inside your company? What opportunities could you pursue? What markets could you go after? What problems that have seemed intractable suddenly become possible if you can tap into all of the intelligence and brain power inside your company that sits right in front of you? What becomes possible for you and for them? And lastly, a question, will you shift your weight? Sometimes things that seem scary, like letting go of being the genius, the know-it-all, the answer guy, sometimes all you need to do is shift your weight. So my final question today is, is there something that you heard today that would cause you to leave more like a multiplier? And what would you need to do to simply shift your weight and what becomes possible if you shift your weight and lead more like a multiplier? Thank you very much.